If you are a network marketer and would like to know how to recruit 1,732 people in one single month into your network marketing business, then this video is for you. I know it sounds crazy, but it's actually not. So stick with us until the end of this video, until the end of this interview, because you'll see how it's really possible to recruit a large number of people into your network marketing business in a short period of time. Today, I'm going to be interviewing a friend of mine, a mentor of mine, Fernie. Fernie Ceballos is the chief marketing officer of attractionmarketing.com. And he's the author of this book, Attraction Marketing Formula. If you don't have this book, this is the number one blueprint to recruit people into your business using the power of attraction marketing. We'll be talking more about what attraction marketing is, if you don't know the concept. And if you want to get a copy, I'll put a link in the description. You can join a free training and then you have the opportunity to grab a copy at a very discounted price. But let's go into the topic of the interview and let me introduce Fernie. So Fernie, how are you? I'm good, man. Thank you for having me. This is going to be fun. Yeah, this is actually episode, let's say, number two. We already interviewed Fernie last year and I'm going to put a link to the first interview somewhere uh, above here in the video. And we already talked a bit about yeah, traction marketing and uh, old school, but and also Fernie's story. But today I want to specifically start the interview by asking you, I, I read your story and at a certain point I read that you almost quit network marketing. Mm -hmm. And why is that? I'm sure many people that start network marketing, majority of them, they have this thought and mm. actually the majority of them end up actually quitting. So why did, did you think about quitting? You'll notice now that Fernie has a different microphone. We had to change the setup because there was a bit of noise. But so, Fernie, why at, the, at a certain point in your career you almost quit network marketing? Well, I've never been somebody that quit easily uh, anything. Um, I just have a value in me that once you start something, you should see it through. And that's how I was with network marketing. When I got started, even though I didn't like the business model, I didn't like the concept, I didn't like what I was going to be asked to do. But I, you know, was just hooked by the possibility of financial freedom and being able to leave my job and quit my job. And, and you know, so that was the only alluring thing for me about network marketing. And so I sucked up the rest of the stuff that I was asked to do that I did not like doing, that I, it was inauthentic. And, you know, when you, initially you can start something and be motivated by the outcome, you know. But eventually you do have to enjoy the process. You do have to enjoy the journey. If you don't look forward to doing something every single day, it's going to be very hard to sustain it, regardless of what the ultimate prize is. Unless you're, you know, there's a few people that probably can do that, that'll, you know, embrace the suck, so to speak, and, you know, have the discipline to do something they don't like doing long term to, to achieve a result. And there's nothing wrong with that. And that's, you know, there's there's value in doing that. But if you're going to do something for a career, do something that, you know, is going to be a change in, you know, from one profession to another, then it probably should be something ultimately that you enjoy doing, not just uh, not have it suck all the time. Because then what's the point of quitting your job if you're going from one thing you don't like to the other? <laughs> and so so that what was happening initially, I was motivated by the opportunity of making a lot of money. I was motivated by financial freedom. I was motivated by the idea of not having to go to work in traffic to and from work an hour each way. I was motivated by by not having to be stuck at a job. I was motivated by not having to um, you know, be stuck in a location. If I wanted to go or move somewhere, I didn't have to you know, ask for permission or go on vacation. I could just go. And so, but that only lasted so long. There was, it was about nine months into my network marketing business. And I actually had, you know, I produced some results, but the rest of my team were not motivated to do the same things I was doing. And that was a clue because if I want, I, I realized much later that if I wanted to build a sustainable network marketing business, that the process of building needed to be enjoyed. It, it needed to be something people enjoy doing not just for myself, but for my team, because most of your team is not gonna, is not going to be composed of people that are motivated as motivated as you. Um, they're going to be varying levels of motivation. And so if the process for building sucks, then it's going to be very hard for you to duplicate. And so, so that's what, you know, I was burning out on these old school strategies 
And uh, thank God I found attraction marketing because I would have quit because if my if my team, I don't see my team motivated to do the work, then what's the point of me doing the work? It's really it's just basic logic. Um, but I also a part of me wanted to figure it out, which is how come I went on the internet to, to find the, a different way, find the, I don't know what I was looking for at the time, but I found it. I found mentors who were willing to share a radically different strategy for building a network marketing business, which aligned with not only my goals, but it actually was something that I was like excited about doing. I, I looked forward to learning about marketing and uh, influence every single day. I looked forward to learning about how to, to build a machine uh, online that can attract prospects for me instead of me chasing. So that was very intriguing to me. And so that that's the first thing. And so the process of attraction marketing uh, was fun. I looked forward to doing that in addition to looking forward to what it can do for you. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And we get more into, into some of the attraction marketing strategies that that people can use. Uh, and I, uh, yeah, totally agree with you because I also, at the beginning I joined, I was very excited uh, with the promise of financial freedom and you start doing some personal development. But then if you don't know what to do and if you don't enjoy what you actually are doing, you'll, you'll end up quitting. And that's what I also did. I was, I was almost quitting. Then I, I went on Google, searched for how to recruit people online, how to make six figures, figures in network marketing. And I found a blog post uh, that you wrote and then uh, the rest is history. But um, I totally agree with you. And many people that join, of course, they will start uh, being mentored by their upline, which maybe is an old school upline, or maybe they just don't apply attraction marketing or they, they teach and they in their way of teaching, they obviously they have some myths and which are actually network marketing myths that are out there and that um, end up causing people to quit or maybe don't enjoy the process or not making enough money. So what uh, what do you think in your opinion are the three biggest myths that you see out there in network marketing right now? Um, well, there's one one myth is that drives me crazy is when old school people that are building the traditional way, the old school way, however you want to label it, um, which is, you know, make a list of 100, 100 friends and family, mm -hmm. prospecting people that, that come within three feet, cold messaging strangers or, or approaching strangers in public. You know, that strategy is a sales strategy that requires learning sales skills. But you're constantly told in network marketing, it's not selling, it's sharing. Well, if you're teaching that strategy, that way of building to people, it actually is selling. Now, you don't have to learn sales and you don't have to do sales in order to build a network marketing business if you're doing something like attraction marketing, because marketing and sales are very different. Mm -hmm. But if you're going to be building the traditional way, which I know many people who have built their business traditionally, it can work. It, it just happens to require doing things that, frankly, I think suck. You know, personally, they suck in not that they don't work. They suck in that I won't enjoy them. And so and very likely most people won't enjoy them. Most people don't want to do sales. Most people don't want to learn sales. So what happens in traditional network marketing is that a leader will tell you to, to basically hide the fact that you have to ultimately learn sales. They say, oh, it's not selling, it's sharing. But then they're, you know, the good ones are actually teaching you skills like objection handling, like follow up like building rapport, all those are sales skills, yet they don't label them that. And, and how is somebody supposed to succeed in something when they don't even know what it is they're learning or that they even have to learn something? It's almost like they want to like sneak in the lessons of sales mm -hmm. uh, without telling you it's sales and without telling you you're learning sales. It, it's kind of, it's really weird. And so, so the, you know, that's the first myth is that people lie to you in network marketing uh, about the fact that what you're being asked to do, prospecting, approaching people, building rapport, uh, converting them to the next step, either a, a meeting and then presenting, you know, what is presenting? That presentation is a sales presentation. Yeah. Um, all of that. And, and notice how because uh, network marketers are so unskilled at sales, they, they manage to just be very awkward and weird and and they tend to put people off and they tend to piss off their friends and family it's because they're they're trying to do sales 
when they don't know they're doing sales and they they don't know how to do sales. It, you know, if some if they actually were honest and told people how to do sales, and these are the sales skills, these are these are the principles of scale of, of your sales strategy, and these are like this is the structure and process you want to follow for your sales strategy, then probably more people would be successful at network marketing if they were honest. But they're afraid that if they tell you it's sales, it'll, it'll scare you off. But you know, I have a friend, uh, Tim Sales, who built a seven-figure business using cold calling as the primary strategy he was teaching. And he was very honest and upfront about how he did that. And and they he did intense training with his team to be able to do that. So you can you know succeed in network marketing mm -hmm. doing sales, but you just have to be honest. So that's uh, myth number one. The other myth is that you know building online or using attraction marketing doesn't work. Well, that's that myth has been completely shattered by this, the results of our students, uh, including you and including your uh, former business partner and still your friend, you know, Fraser Brooks. You know, building online is absolutely possible. It's 100% doable. I just finished hosting a live event where one of our speakers was an old student of ours uh, uh, from our company. And he and his wife have built a multiple seven figure business. 100% online using social media, using attraction marketing. Uh, they were they were they started being students around the you know a couple of years after I started learning these strategies, mm -hmm. and they built a monster business. And they've they've also passed on the knowledge and mentored many other people, leaders, on how to do attraction marketing. And so, you 100% absolutely want to build your business online, and it absolutely does work. And we have a whole if you see look online for pictures of our most recent event, you see that we actually give out championship belts to our most successful students, you know, six figure belts, seven figure belts. And so those belts are not fake. They're, you know, they're real belts signifying uh, the success of our students uh, using attraction marketing. And so, and finally, the, the other, you know, myth is that attraction marketing or building online using social media is not duplicatable that you know so that's a you know you know a lot of leaders will try to throw that at you is like okay well maybe you can do social media maybe you can do attraction marketing recruit people but it's not duplicatable you know i prefer strategies that are duplicatable well if you think about it sales you know <laughs> prospecting people in public cold prospecting converting them to the next step which is like some sort of meeting or or presentation and then learning how to present and then learning how to follow up and learning how to handle objections and all of that process is that duplicatable is it duplicatable to approach strangers in public and get them interested in in your business opportunity i couldn't do it i couldn't do it effectively i'm a pretty smart guy you know and and i i i, I don't give up easily and so so you know when you talk about what's duplicatable well, what's duplicatable is what you can teach effectively. And if you suck at teaching, then of course you're going to think you're going to, you know, basically use the say, the saying that, oh, that's not duplicatable. Mm -hmm. But we've we've created, we have strategies that people can deploy right away without needing any type of technology or website or anything that is attraction marketing they can do from day one. And then we we build up people's skill set over time strategically. So, you know, step by step so that ultimately they learn how to automate their business if that's what they want to do. And we've done it over and over again. And so I've I, literally I've mentored and taught way more people on how to do attraction marketing, both on the, on the simple beginner level and the more advanced levels of created six, seven and eight figure earners, many more people than I ever was able to personally recruit period, warm market and cold market, because I, I actually never recruited on the cold market because I couldn't like I couldn't figure that out. I was able to recruit, you know, people from warm market, but that's about it. And that was hard and a lot of work. And I trust me, I've mentored many more people on how to build six, seven figure businesses using attraction marketing. And, and so the duplication myth, you know, is shattered there because if attraction marketing wasn't duplicatable, then I wouldn't have students. We, we wouldn't have thousands of students who have created yeah. full-time or more income in uh, network marketing. Totally agree. And also, uh, I think that people that say that uh, attraction marketing doesn't work are people that first, maybe they don't know about it, or even if they know, they're actually scared that their team will learn their strategy and then will actually leave 
will leave them because uh, they will. They will because it's. Um, yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead, friend. Yeah, their 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 team. If they don't adopt the strategies that are more modern, and and more uh, in with the times, then yeah, you know, it's this is business. It's comp there's competition. You need to stay ahead of your competitors, and if you don't. And if you just stick your head in the sand and say, well, that stuff is duplicatable and, and hope that your downline doesn't find information about those strategies, well, then you're, you're delusional, you know, cause this is business. Yeah. Um, you know, so we're all competing against each other. Uh, you know, companies are competing against each other. Leaders are competing against each other. That that's, and if you, and the only inoculation you can create from pe keeping people from leaving you, um, doesn't matter how good of a relationship is, doesn't matter how good your, your cult, you know, mind brainwashing strategies are, eventually <laughs> people will figure out that, Hey, those, that group over there is doing some really cutting edge stuff that actually yeah. makes the, the process of building my business a little easier and a lot more fun. Uh, I'm going to probably, I'm going to go over there that yeah, that's business. And so, so you have to learn. Uh, attraction marketing you have to be able to incorporate into your business otherwise your business will shrink and eventually you know disappear and it's going to suffer um so so that's it um you know there's no way around that you can't yeah. the internet you know has broken down all walls and your downline will see what's out there absolutely and so let, let's talk about a bit about the strategies obviously we cannot go so deep into every strategy for this, I recommend you guys to get a copy of the book, put the link in the description. But um, in my opinion, of course, also in your opinion, is old school MLM is dead. And I think um, not just the traditional way offline, because obviously you need to approach cold, uh, cold strangers, you need to uh, push people, and most of the people don't like to do that. But also if you transfer this approach online, it's actually the same if you try to just add people randomly and spam people in groups with your opportunity link and your company's videos, that also doesn't work. You need the right strategy to attract, attract people to you so you are in charge of the conversation and they reach out to you so uh, they actually want to know more. So what are some of the strategies and um, how old school strategy, even online, differ from attraction marketing strategies? Yeah, it's such a great question. Now, so, you know, attraction marketing, you know, is primarily based on four pillars, or you can say four ideas or four skills. You know, I, I, I don't want to be cheesy because everybody has a pill, you know, my strategy involves three pillars or my strategy involves three steps or, you know, it, it all, but there's fundamentally there's four skills that we teach. And then obviously in each of those skills, you can go deep and and get really good and do do those those skills in different ways but the first skill that we teach our students is how to attract and attraction as opposed to prospecting is very different when you're prospecting again that's a sales strategy you're you're approaching people you're trying to get their interest and and pique their interest and use some sort of sales techniques to catch their attention um you're going after people, you know, and so, and let's say you meet somebody, well, then now you got to follow up and, and get, you know, see if you can have the conversation lead to you talking about the business. So prospecting, you know, the way it's taught traditionally is a very inauthentic and deceptive way of connecting with people. And so, you know, so that's the, the thing that we don't want to do. We don't want to do something that is inauthentic, that, that is, basically us, you know, hiding our agenda when we're talking to somebody. Attraction is very different because in marketing, there's a, in marketing, what we first do is we help people define their target market. Like what are the, what's the type of person or whom do you want to attract? Whom do you want on your team? And we, we take our students through an exercise where they define very clearly and very specifically the types of people they want on their team. And, and, you know, people will hear that and think they know what I'm talking about. I was like, well, I want go-getters and I want people who are motivated. And no, that's not what I'm talking about. And I don't have the, the, the time to go into how, you know, how to, how to do that. But when we help people figure out who their target market is, who are the type of people that they want to have on their team? Well, 
when they start doing things on social media, when they start interacting, doing, creating content, putting, you know, there's lots of ways of putting content out there. You're a master at creating YouTube videos like this one, uh, that, that, that finds people and, you know, literally attracts people to you. Well, when you create content with a target market in mind, with the person, the type of person you want to attract, well, when people watch that content, when they see you interacting on social media, when they see you uh, active on social media, but your, your messaging is specifically for the type of person you want to attract, then those mm -hmm. people are drawn because those people tell themselves, oh, wow, that's exactly what I was looking for. I was like, oh, man, he's talking about the same problem I'm, I'm dealing with. Or it's like, oh, wow, I'm so glad I found this guy because it's like he's talking about the things I care about. So that is attraction. It, it's 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 involuntary. You know, you don't have to convince anybody to to be attracted to you. People are just attracted to you. Attraction is involuntary. And it's because they see you as somebody that potentially might be able to help them with something. So the next part, the next skill we teach our students is influence. Influence is how you take that relationship once you've attracted somebody to that next level how you take somebody from like ah, i think this might be a person that can help me how you take them from there to wow this guy is this guy or this gal is awesome mm -hmm. you know like i've learned so much already like you know clearly this person is here to serve they're not here to just you know take 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 in fact i i love tuning in tuning into everything they post every video they 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 post um every email they send like i i can't wait to receive the next one that's where you want to take somebody sometimes they're like in between it's like you have casual fans and that's cool too you're gonna have people at every levels where people that are somewhat interested very interested you know uh highly interested and like super fans who like can't wait for your next piece of content but the point is all those people are interested and the, and what happens there is you've created influence what does influence mean uh, there's a, a term, a word that is synonymous with influence. That word is leadership. Mm -hmm. then, but then again, what is leadership? Everyone kind of defines leadership a little different. I want to define leadership in a very simple way. Leadership, you show people that you can help people by actually helping them. That's leadership. If you can show people that you can help them by actually helping them, then you've, you've demonstrated yourself to be a leader. And therefore you have influence. And so that's really all you're trying to do when you're on social media using attraction marketing is you're trying to demonstrate to people or, or let's say you have a one-on-one -on -one with somebody, a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Even there, the same principles apply. You need to demonstrate to the people you're talking to that you can help them by actually helping them. What are we doing right now? You know, Vincenzo, you, you're putting out this content, this interview. Well, what we're doing right now is we're demonstrating leadership. We're creating influence because we're showing we're showing people that we can help them in their network marketing business by actually helping them by helping them understand how attraction marketing works. So that is influence, and so it's as simple as that. And so just focus on trying to help people, and that'll build influence with whoever you're talking to, whether it's one on one or whether it's one to many, like on this video. The final, the not the final skill, but the the what seems like the final skill, which is enrolling somebody. Uh, the skill of enrollment is actually very easy. It's actually the easiest one. Whereas with traditional network marketing, you know, the opposite of influence is convincing, right? And so, cl well, closing somebody is the opposite of enrolling. Enrolling is actually the easiest part, whereas closing is actually the hardest part when it comes to network marketing and, and sales. And so enrolling well if you've done the first two things right and you built influence now you when you have a conversation with somebody about your product or opportunity one there are they already trust you they're already interested in what you have and and you just need to you, you literally enroll the an enrollment conversation is literally a series of questions and then at the end of those questions you share with people what it is that can help them and then they buy so mm -hmm. you know you don't have to convince you don't have to explain you certainly don't have to objection handle you know and and so you know most of the time you know people that show up on an enrollment conversation are like 80 90 percent of the way there they might in addition to you asking questions they might have some questions for you and then it's done enrollment is the easy part 
And then finally, the fourth and final uh, skill that we teach our students using attraction marketing is, is, is create not only duplication, but duplication with systems and automation. How do you, and so we call this skill scaling your business because there's different ways of scaling your business, but ultimately we're using systems and automation to create duplication and to scale our income and our results and the growth of our team. And so that is a leadership level skill that, that we teach not only uh, new students who are barely starting off and trying to understand how duplication works, but we work with a lot of six and seven figure earners on building systems for their teams uh, so they can create duplication or create more duplication. Um, so that's, you know, that, that's fundamentally what attraction marketing is composed of. Uh, you know, and what, you know, passes off as duplicatable in traditional network marketing is stuff that's not really duplicatable. It's mm -hmm. actually a, a mislabel. Prospecting strangers is not duplicatable. It's hard. Um, and I guess you can duplicate it if you actually have training in place that is structured to teach people how to do that. But then you have to be honest with them about what they're learning and that what they're learning is actually sales. And then at that point, it's duplicatable. You can duplicate results and duplicate skills, but you got you got to be honest. So, but what most network marketing does is not duplicatable because they're not actually being honest about what you're learning. Absolutely, and also I think maybe even if people enjoy doing the old school way of uh, doing network marketing, yeah, maybe they enjoyed it, which is very little, right. low percentage, but it's not really fast because you need to go out there. You need to speak to so many people. Even if you do it online, you need to uh, contact so many people. If you do attraction marketing correctly, as you explained, so attract, uh, influence, enroll and scale, you can go much, much faster also online. You can achieve faster results. And that's what also people want. They don't want to become seven figure earners in 50 years, maybe in Four years, yeah. five years, six years. Well, it's, it's, you know, the old school way of doing it is so time intensive. Yeah. And, and especially if you're doing it offline, but even online, it's very time intensive because you're, um, I mean, there's just so much turn and burn, so much frustration, so much rejection. And, and so it's emotionally draining as well. Um, you know, with attraction marketing, we teach you initially how to trade your time in a very strategic way that doesn't you know, that where, you know, when you're done, you don't have to do it all the time and you, you know, you're doing it in a way that you enjoy and that other people aren't going to be weirded out by yeah. uh, the, what you're doing. And so, and then eventually we show you more leverage strategies where, where over time, what you're doing takes less of your time, but the results go up as, mm -hmm. so as your time investment in what you're doing goes down, your results scale up. So, so that's actually what you want to do in with attraction marketing, you want ultimately to be spending less and less time on your business as it grows. If yeah. you're spending more and more time in your business, trying to get it to grow, you're doing it wrong. Yeah. Yeah. You end up having a job, not, not a business anymore. And yeah. uh, you don't have freedom eventually. Um, loved it. Th this is great. And, um, now I want to talk another, another topic that is really uh, changed the game for me when I discovered it. And it was when I actually read that this is the second edition. I believe I read the first edition. I also have the first one back in 2016 of attraction marketing formula. And there was a concept you were explaining how it was actually possible to make money from people, even if they didn't end up joining your business, which for me was something impossible because I was thinking, okay, I need to, um, approach people or maybe people come to me if I do attraction marketing and then I try them to I try to sell the products or services or try to recruit them into my business but then you were talking about a way where even if okay they don't end up joining which will be the majority of people uh, let's face 80 percent 90 percent of people that you contact or get in touch with will not end up joining your business for whatever reason so how can I monetize those people and I, I applied what you talked about and I remember I was making more money with this strategy than actually my network marketing business at a certain point, which was almost a five was actually a five figure income per month uh, with this strategy. So uh, I want I wanted to share a bit more about this. How can people actually make money even if their prospects don't end up joining their business? Well, 
when I describe the the skills of attraction marketing, where you attract, you create influence and enroll. Well, you're not going to enroll everybody, mm -hmm. uh, but you're building influence with everybody. Yeah. There is going to be a lot of people you build influence with that are maybe are not interested in your products or not interested in your opportunity, but they respect you. They're following you. They're 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 listening to you around a certain topic. Well, at that, you know, that gives you the opportunity to actually offer them something of value that is a product of some kind uh, that may or may be different from your network marketing business, may be the same. And so, so that's where, you know, you see a lot of network marketers, especially the biggest ones. If you see the biggest names in network marketing, they never teach this, but they're doing it and they're doing it right in front of you. And what are they doing? They're selling coaching, they're selling courses, they're right. selling training. And, and they're, they're saying, oh, don't do this. This is not what you want to do, but they're doing it. And, and many of them, they did it while they were building their network marketing business. And the reason they were doing it is because it was an additional stream of income that, that basically monetized the people that were never going to join their business, that were just, you know, happy where the, in the company they were at, or, or, or just for whatever reason, just wanted to learn from them and weren't interested in joining them. Yeah. So there's there's a when you build influence with an audience that you're building, you can offer them other things. Now, if you're just getting started, the way I recommend that that you build influence and and create upfront income, active income, if you if you don't have the more the advanced skills of attraction marketing is you find a, a product within your company that has the highest profit margins and to your audience that you're building influence with in the target market then you offer that product and that product should be should be something that helps to solve the problems of that that group that target market so that creates active income and so there's a you know in network marketing there's the focus is so much on recruiting how do i find more prospects for my business i want to recruit 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 they're like they're like horny for new recruits um but they don't want to build influence or relationships with anybody well your product gives you the opportunity to build relationships with people uh, and it, guess what? If you add value to people beyond just the product, well, that you now now you have value as part of that relationship. It's not just the product, but you have value. So when you have value and people respect you, well, even if they even if anyone on the on the street, if anyone off the street offered them to, uh, the opportunity to, to to build a network marketing business, they would likely they would all say no to that that stranger that's trying to prospect them. But you, if you have influence in a relationship, if you offer them the opportunity to take a look at something, they would do it because you've already added value to their lives. You've already, they already respect you and you've already made income, you know, money from them, from the product. Now there are other strategies that are more advanced that we teach at Attraction Marketing on how to use affiliate marketing, how to use an affiliate product um, with higher profit margins. And uh, as part of the process that eventually leads people to, uh, be interested in in what you're doing, but you're making money up front, you know, from from retail retailing something to a group to a target market, and and you're doing it one to add value because of what you're what you're selling them is going to make their life better, but two, in addition to the product, you're adding value to them, you're teaching them stuff, you're making their life better, and the combination of those two things is going to get them to respect you. And if they respect you, then, you know, in a few weeks or a month, if you invite them to take a look at something on how they can take the passion that they have around everything that everything that that you guys have been talking about, everything that you've been teaching, hey, if you're wondering how you can take this passion around health and wellness or this passion around weight loss um, or this passion around around personal finance, and turn it into an additional income stream, an additional business. If you want to know how to do that, you know, I invite you to check out this workshop or this webinar or whatever. And people will take you up on that because you have already served them well. Mm -hmm. Again, people are trying to figure out how do I use the internet to recruit people? How do I use the internet to like just in mass uh, recruit a bunch of people really fast? Well, you can do that, but but you have to be a master of sales. You have to know how to sell because you're taking somebody that is cold and then getting them to join your opportunity without any prior relationship. Well, and, and you're counting on your company being so awesome that that's going to convince them. 
Well, that's that's a sales job. And you can do that. And there's people that do do that. But if you're doing it one on one, you need to learn sales skills. And if you're doing it one to many, you need to be one of the top marketers in the world, because really that that the marketing skills that that requires yeah. and the amount of money for advertising that that requires is really high. So really the best strategy for most network marketers is to actually build a relationship with a product um, that is that is you know, that is around a passion that is around a, uh, something that the prospect cares about. And once you do that, um, you point at whatever and they're, they're going to go join it or buy it. Yeah. Um, and I, I remember actually when I was using this strategy and um, that you explain again in the book on how to make money, even if people don't join. And for me, it was really, again, a game changer because I was I decided to start attracting people to me using paid strategies. So at the time, 2016 was Facebook ads. And obviously I was investing money. And this, making money on the front end, even if people eventually didn't join, allowed me to cover the cost of advertising, actually make money at being actually in a profit. And then everything that came after, people buying my products or joining my opportunity, it was pure profit. So right. I was even more relaxed. I was not, uh, you know, uh, stressed about losing money, wasting money in ads because I had this and this really, really changed my, uh, the game for me. So again, guys, yeah. I really recommend you get a copy of this book because there are some game changing information. Well, also, uh, also, also what, what's amazing, what happens when all of a sudden you don't need the person you're talking to when you don't need them. Yeah. Like, cause you're already making money. Mm -hmm. It's like there's posture. It's like and the posture is real. It's not fake. It's not something yeah. you got trained on how to do. It's like, yeah, I don't I mean, join if you want to, man, but it's it's awesome. And um, this is how I'm doing it. Um, yeah, it's up to you. Like you don't have to sell people and people sense it as like this guy doesn't need me. And and they're drawn to that. And so that's also part of what makes you attractive. That's attraction marketing. Absolutely. They feel it and that because all the other people try to push them, but you are different. So absolutely. Um, and now I think we can actually talk about what's written in the title, which was obviously to to get you guys to watch this video even more and being more um, attentive again to the video. It's how to recruit this crazy number of people here. It's 1732 people in one month. So large number of people in a short period of time. Uh, if you can obviously Fernie, share the story of these results and uh, how can actually people achieve something like this? Yeah, well, that so if guys, if you want to get a deeper, more detailed explanation of the strategy, then you want to read the attraction marketing formula that's yeah. in there. I'm going to I'm going to, you know, uh, kind of do a short version of it right now. Um, and it actually is building on everything I just said. So when you build an audience, when you are attracting people either through organic or, or, or paid strategies, meaning advertising, uh, both work. I started with paid strategies. Vincenzo started with paid strategies. Um, you know, but now Vincenzo is awesome at using organic strategies as well to attract people to him. And, uh, and we teach that and I've done that, you know, for many years as well. And so when you're attracting people, you're building an audience, a following. And you don't have to, you know, in the in the in the old days of network marketing, in order to maintain a relationship with somebody, you have to call them over and over again. You have to like, and, and even the old days, there was no texting, so you had to like call and like have a conversation, and you know, maintain a network, maintain a relationship with a network of people. Now you don't have to do that. Now you have social media, and now you have other tools that allow you to just put publish content, and that that kind of keeps the relationship going. Uh, when somebody sees a new a post from you or when you see a post from them, that's like a way of staying connected without actually doing the work of like calling people, uh, which is cool. And that's very powerful. So that allows you to build a network of people, a big group, a network of people. So when you build trust and a relationship with people, let's say you've been retailing, you built a big community of, of, of people around a certain passion and you've been selling your product to them and offering the product, let's say 20% of those people end up buying your product, which is a lot of people. Um, and let's say your team is using that community as well uh, to, to introduce people to the product and then to you as a leader, then that's more retail volume that's being created by you and your team. 
But then one day you decide, hey, guys, uh, hey, if you guys, and I already said it before, uh, so I'm going to repeat this again. It's like, guys, hey, I know I know we're all here around uh, learning how to become, you know, healthier and lose, you know, lose weight. So many of you have lost so much weight and you guys are happier, healthier. Um, you guys are going to live longer than you previously uh, may have imagined. You, uh, Many of you never thought this was possible for you. And it brings me great joy in knowing that that I played a role and our team played a role in that. If you are somebody that wants to learn how you can take this newfound passion of, of helping people get healthier and live longer into an additional income or into a business, then I invite you to join me on this webinar or on this workshop where I'm going to show you how I built the business helping people how to lose weight. And so then those people who have enjoyed your product that have been following you and uh, got results, um, or maybe they didn't buy the product, but they got results from just listening to your advice, listening to your content. Well, now in mass, all at once, you have a bunch of people hopping on a webinar or a bunch of people taking that next step towards learning about your opportunity and growing a following of a thousand, 10,000 people, hundred thousand people is not as hard as people think. And so when you have a large following of people that know, like, and trust you and you invite them to take a look at something, um, they take it seriously and they want to do it. Even if building a network marketing business is kind of fundamentally so different from like, you know, the other thing you were working on with them, but it doesn't matter because people ultimately, if they trust you, they'll trust you on, on your, the advice that you have to give on how to improve other areas of their life. If you think about during the pandemic, um, there were a lot of people without doctor's degrees, without, they don't have any type of certification in health or nutrition or anything like that. Um, they have no scientific background, but all of a sudden you see all these marketing or business gurus giving health advice uh, on, on how to like, on pro vaccine, anti vaccine, whatever. It's like, and, and they're following the people that are following them that they have influence over by and large would agree with them. And they would agree with them, even if they may have disagreed with them before, but they agree with them because there's just this, this pull when you have influence with somebody and somebody views you as a leader, then they view you as a leader, period. They don't just view you as a leader for business, they view you as a leader, period. So therefore, if you say something, share health advice, share financial advice, share personal development advice, they're gonna lean in and go, oh, I, I mean, you know, Vincenzo was talking about, um, you know, this new meditation strategy that helped to relieve his stress. I gotta check this out. Even though Vincenzo, that's not his, that's not Vincenzo's jam. He has, he doesn't, yeah. he's not a, a guru on meditation, but all of a sudden he's learned something and people want to check it out because it's Vincenzo because they trust them. And so that's the, that's the reason of following that you initially retailed to created retail, a retail relationship with would be interested in an opportunity is because it's just not, not because you sold them something. It's because you serve them beyond the product. That's yeah. how you, that's how you recruit people in a large volume in mass. Absolutely. And also, by using attraction marketing, as you said, you build influence and okay, now you can promote, you promote this network marketing opportunity, but in five years, maybe you do something else. You're not in network marketing anymore. You, you start with your own company, your own business, or you do whatever other things you do. And if you had influence over those people, you can start a new business much faster because they can be your first clients, customers, and followers, even in the new, mm -hmm. in the new venture. So. It's yeah. crucial that uh, guys, you, you do attraction marketing because that can really set you up for success over the long period of time. Yeah. And, so, I, and I want to also real quick, some people, people might be thinking, well, man, it seems like it's going to take long for me to like build a following and, and build influence and, 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 uh, but I, I need to recruit people now. And it's, here's the thing. If you recruit people now, if you've managed to convince people to join your business, they're not going to be very committed because there's no influence. Like yeah. you and 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 you're probably thinking, well, that's what my company's for. My company's debt free. My company's this. My company's that. Trust me, no one cares. Yeah. No one cares about your company. They care about people. And if in the course of you recruiting them, you don't have a good relationship with them, 
then it's going to be all that much easier for them to quit and, and not be very committed. So, you know, I was able to build the six figure income and quit my job within two years, uh, seven figures within four years using this strategy. And did I go, man, it took me two years to make six figures and, and, you know, fire my boss. And then another four years to make seven <laughs> figures. Like my life sucks. No, because <laughs> the alternative one is probably not going to work. And two, the alternative of just not doing network marketing all together and, and working a nine to five for 40, 50, 60 years or until you die, that's takes way longer. And yeah. so I, I think people, you know, uh, you know, sometimes have this like childish mind around like what, sh you know, short term actually means. It's like firing my boss within two years of learning attraction marketing and building a six figure income. Uh, is fast yeah. for me you know we've had students that done it in a year we've had students that done it in six months we've had students that done it in five years but all of them beat 40 50 60 years at a job exactly yeah even five years is very fast actually yeah um so yeah some people are very impatient sometimes um yeah we want to close just obviously it's uh, lots of value thank you Fernie, for for being here as always and just a top advice for both newbies, so people just starting out. We obviously talked a lot, but if you have one top advice, and then for leaders, so people that have a team and maybe want to scale more and have more duplication and more time freedom. Uh, well, for newbies, uh, just know that if you want a six-figure income, you need six-figure skill sets. And the skills that you need to learn, I just talked about, attract, influence, enroll, and then uh, scale which is duplication through systems. And so those are the skills you got to learn. And there's skills within the skills, you know, there's, there's other things to learn, uh, but that's what you got to do. And so accepting the fact that you have to learn a professional skill set in order to earn a professional income sounds obvious, but it's not the common thinking in network marketing because there's so much get rich quick. And there's so much talk about like, it's not selling, it's sharing. So you know, leaders are diminishing the fact that people have to learn skills. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so, you know, I'd I would have rather been told, here's the sales strategy for for finding prospects and and building rapport and recruiting them. I rather would be told that than be just being told, oh, it's it's selling. It, it's not it's selling. Sharing. It's sharing. Just bring more people. <laughs> just bring more people. That's all you got to do. You're making the business too hard. You know, just bring more people. Like like. Like, I'm not an idiot. Like it's a so numbers every, game. Yeah. Every every profession requires you learning skills. Yeah. So that's one for leaders. Um, I have two pieces of advice. One, if you don't get on the attraction marketing train, it's going to run you over. Uh, you know, you're very likely during the pandemic when you couldn't do the old school strategies like you used to. Uh, the grand, grand majority of leaders who had built their business and still functioned around the old school strategies, saw their businesses collapse and shrink. I know because I talked to a lot of leaders that were in that situation that found our company desperately looking for a solution. And so, so you know, those people got run over by the attraction marketing train because uh, the strategy they were working on wasn't working. The other thing that was happening is they were losing distributors they were losing team members to other leaders who were doing attraction marketing who did have a strategy for building online so that's one piece of advice the other piece of advice is you you know in addition to attraction marketing for growing and building a network marketing business there are systems that you want to create in place there's there's automation you could create where if you are a leader that is a six figure earner or above and you're working crazy long hours and you're overworked, that tells me that you likely lack uh, something I call duplication systems mm -hmm. and duplication systems are a way of removing yourself from the equation so that 95% of the time that you're currently spending it, to support your team, you know, when you, when you implement these systems, well, these systems now take care of your team. Anytime you're, uh, one of your team members is looking for to learn something new or looking to ask a question or solve a problem, the systems are there to answer their question um, or, or to, to help them develop that new skill. 
and and you are basically removing yourself more and more from the equation so that you can focus on more leadership level activities like mentoring other leaders and developing other leaders because your systems provide the support for your team and uh so if if your business is growing and so is your time commitment to your business you're doing it wrong you're going to burn out so that there so those are the two things it's like get on the attraction marketing train and if you're a leader that's overworked then you're building your business wrong you need duplication systems awesome awesome so guys the next step for you for all of you watching is click the link in the description it's a free training actually i'm going to give you access to it's an online recruiting bootcamp from fernie himself and then you have an opportunity to get a copy of the book of this best-selling book at a very discounted price and then obviously enter the world of attraction marketing that will honestly revolutionize your business as it did for me and tens of thousands of of students uh thank you so much fernie again for your time for being here for sharing value for serving this profession and uh i look forward for another interview in the in the future awesome thanks for having me vincenzo thank you fernie bye guys